Hey friends, once again this is Ryan and this is going the third and the last uh, part of the video for the Python Tiki Enter or Tiki Enter GUI. <laughs> now in the last video um, we tried to like create a variable txt name and gender and let's try to run this again. So I'm going to have to type my name, Ryan, and obviously I'm male, click enter. And it's not showing the text in here since we removed the print, but let's try to check. I'm just going to have to, oh, by the way, since we have if, let's end this if, okay. And let's see what we have. Okay. Mm, I think we don't need to NF in Python. Uh, anyway, let's try to uh, print TXT name and gender and see what we have. So let's run this again. And type my name, mail, enter, and that's boom. Okay, it says Ryan and sir. This one, Ryan, ma'am. Okay, now let's try to remove this and create another variable. And this time, let's call this sense or sentence. Okay, and this is going to be equal like uh check hello okay and so this is the string okay hello inside code and let's add our name so it's going to be hello ryan so and the way you add or it's called concatenation so you have to have like the plus sign okay and then string so str function now it's gonna be it's gonna take the parameter or our variable which is txt name and so this is how you concatenate so it's gonna say hello Ryan and then let's have another uh, string of captions so it's let's have a slash n to like new line and how are you how are you, sir? How are you, ma'am? So let's have another two plus and then the gender itself. So that's gender. And let's have the question mark. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. And let's try to run this again. Oh, sorry. Let's try to run this. I think I sorry for that so run run GUI 2 stop and rerun uh, let's try to say Ryan uh, mail mm, it's not showing oh sorry for that let's try to print uh, sentence okay Let's try to run again. Stop and rerun. Uh, Ryan mail. Okay, hello Ryan. How are you, sir? Change the name to Bell. That's my wife's name. Hello Bell. How are you, ma'am? Okay. Now, what we have to do right now is let's gonna have um we have to like create a text box okay so we're not going to uh, view our result in our in, in console so we have to have a text box in our GUI itself okay so let me go ahead and design the GUI okay so let's try to Create text. Uh, 
let's go text and then this is going to be a text text field and it has uh, some parameters like root uh, the width it's gonna be like maybe 25 the height is going to be 10 and let's let's wrap this okay wrap and it's gonna be like word so what this does is that uh, it's gonna wrap all the content of that text into a word okay and uh, let's grid this so txt dot grid and so row uh, equals four I guess in column span equals two and sticky equals w so that's gonna be left let's see okay this is it this is our text i think let's change the width to something like maybe 30 i guess there you go or now let's change that one to uh, 40 later on but I think that's it for now now uh, let's try to run this again okay, so Ryan mail enter and so what we wanted is instead of like displaying the text or the sentence in here in caption in, in console it's gonna display in our text area here okay so the way we do that in Python is simply like um, let me check mm -hmm. so the way we add that is simply oh this one so instead of like it's gonna remove this and um, we we're going to call the txt the text area which is the text I'm gonna have to copy this and dot insert okay so the I think it's insert okay that one now it needs to take two parameters. The first one is the index, okay? And that's going to be 0, .0, .0 or 0, 0.0. And then the variable of our text, and that is the sentence. Okay, that's it, simple enough. Straight to run this again. Okay, Ryan Barrera. I'm including my, sorry, that, Ryan. Mail, enter, and it says hello Ryan. Now let's try to have another name. So Kurt or Belle, and she's a female. And boom, it says in here. Now the thing is, every time I type a new uh, name, it's gonna add up to the bottom, right? So we wanted to. Uh, remove the previous data or text and display the new one okay you get my idea right so what we have to do is to add this a bit of code in 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 here so it's gonna be text dot delete and it takes parameters so the first one is zero dot zero dot n so basically what happened is that every time we click the BTN, it's called a command, it's called a function show data. And show data, the first job to do in, in show data is to delete the text. Okay. So let's try to run this again. And I'm going to have to type Ryan, mail, enter. And Ryan C, something like that, female, and that's it. Ryan, and that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. Enjoy.